वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर इन सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड वट इज सिग्नल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड वी हैव कवर्ड द टॉपिक यूजिंग आइडियल इंटरपोलेटर विच इज सिंपली अ आइडियल लो पास फिल्टर उज रिस्पॉन्स इज अ रेक्टेंगुलर पल्स रेक्टेंगुलर टी बाय कैपिटल टी सो वी हैव कवर्ड द रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन यूजिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ इंटरपोलेटर और मैथमेटिकल टूल हेयर यू कैन सी एक्स टी विच इज सैम्पल्ड एट अ सैम्पलिंग रेट and after sampling we have st to successfully recover this signal we use a zero order hold circuit which is represented by small ht which is the impulse response of this <coughs> zero order hold circuit and finally we will get our x not t which is shown in this figure today we will discuss about what is a first order hold and how the reconstruction is done and what are the differences between zero order hold and first order hold so signal construction using first order hold so first order hold is a mathematical model that is used for practical reconstruction of a signal because in zero order hold a practical reconstruction is not possible and there is some error introduced or noise introduced into the reconstructed signal so to remove these errors first order hold circuit are used it is a mathematical model and the reconstructed signal will be seen as a piece wise linear approximation to the original signal let us see first what does this line means let us say we are having a signal xt the signal i'm drawing the signal as a signal which looks like this type of signal which is a continuous type of signal simply this signal is sampled using a sampling impulse strain and we will see the sample signal as the impulses that are having magnitudes like this these impulses are equally placed and in this way we get our sample signal so these impulses is the result of multiplication of our xt with our signal ct so i am writing it here as the sample signal st will be equal to xt which is a continuous time signal multiplied by ct which is a impulse strain 
further we can see that xt multiplied by ct which is a impulse strain so i'm writing a impulse strain as n is equal to from minus infinity to positive infinity delta t minus n t and here this time is t this is 2t and so on up to nt so here you can see if you multiply these two signal then <coughs> in result we are having st as n is equal to minus infinity to positive infinity <coughs> x and t multiplied by delta t minus n t so a property of direct delta function is used here so let us see what is a zero order hold this is our zero order hold zero order hold is represented as h sorry h first order hold which is nothing but a triangular pulse which will look like this and in mathematical format it is represented as triangular So, if our ST signal, which is determined after XT is sampled, this is our XT signal. Here we have the sampler. After sampler, we get our ST signal, which is described here as minus in n is equal to minus infinity to infinity summation x of nt multiplied by delta t minus nt then to successfully reconstruct the signal we are using here a first order hold circuit as h f o h t and here we have our x not t <coughs> which is our reconstructed signal so when the signal will be multiplied by the triangular pulse or to get the response of the system x not t would 
will be equal to H first order hold T convolution X naught T sorry ST further we can see that H naught T is a triangular pulse so we can write it as and ST we'll write ST as N is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity X and T multiplied by delta T minus and T and this get convoluted with of triangular pulse T divided by capital T so we will use a property here for convolution that the solution will be n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of nt will remain same and the convolution of any signal with the impulse train will result into that signal but with a time delay so it will become triangular T minus NT divided by capital T So this will become a piecewise linear approximation and it will look like <coughs> as we will join this part over here then this part over here for that this part then this part <coughs> then finally this part so in this way the linear approximation will look like and finally Over x naught t will be a signal like this So in this way, <clears throat> using this linear approximation, the signal will be reconstructed, which is having a minimum error. In the next video lecture, we will see what will be the transfer function for this first order hold so 
So let us see quickly what we have learned today. So we are studying signal reconstruction using first order hold. So first order hold circuit have our impulse response which is like a triangular pulse. So whenever our sample signal is used to reconstruct the original signal using a first order hold then we can find it as the output will be a linear approximation of this triangular waveform <coughs> and in this way we have approximated our signal which is represented by the light green line in this figure so i hope you will enjoy this video till then stay tuned for the next video lecture on the transfer function for the first order hold circuit thank you